All right, we're back. Track guide after being off for two weeks, and I've done nothing in those two weeks, so you figured I'd be more prepared. But no, that's not the case. Anyways, we're at Richmond, and nothing's really changed. So I'm not even going to use the keys of the race card because it's exactly the same. Points. Me hating the diffuser to some extent. The setup is ass. Actually, I think it might be worse. I think the package is slightly different because we're way slower. Like half a second or more. We're way off. So some things have changed and that's pretty much just it. So tires, I guess. Keep, them, keep an eye on them. Uh, maximize your exits and don't die because it's a short track so we're gonna go ahead and get to pit road and uh talk about the lap all right making our way to pit road enter it enter turn three like normal just never get off the brake downshift to second gear peel off down to 40 miles per hour as usual we're gonna speed this up not too much of a speed up there's your pit speed limit exit Keep it under the yellow. You know the drill. Blue cone's gonna be right out of turn two, which is right there. And now onto the lap. All right, fix it up, fix weather. Our dynamic weather, so it changes a little bit. You can see the track temp there under my under my gear counter. So there's that. Only changes I made was the brake bias down to 45.8. And the offset to four. That's it. Nothing else. So like with every short track, usually the second lap's the best. That's what we did here. Gave the tires a little time to, to get up to temp. And so on. And I mentioned it already. We're way slower than last time, but... And there might be a little difference between the A-fixed and the NIS-fixed. Weather, just slightly, but that's worth a tenth or two. You can get down to the twos, I think. In the A weather. And I'm pretty sure some guys can do twos here. So yeah. I'm a little off base. But that's the best we're going to do. Uh, and we'll see how this up is done. Then we'll talk about it. And there you have it for a 22.4, which I probably could have gone to a 3, but as you can see, the setup is, uh, yeah. all right, like with any decent lap. Getting a nice run out of 4 seems to help. I'm going to slow-mo it immediately, because we're looking at these NASCAR beginning logo thingies, starting here. See, there's number 1 way in the distance back there by that yellow logo. One dead center, which is number two. And number three is the one closest to the car. So we're looking at between two and three. I'm going to start braking right there. Right about here, we're going to follow the little groove that you can see, the rubber in section. Not exactly, but we're going to try to just follow it. You don't want to turn in too sharply or too quickly, but you also don't want to do it too late. Now we're trail braking. We're going to start trailing off and start applying some throttle. The minute it turns back down, which should be right about now. And this is where everything in the lap starts to go the other way. You're fine. All through the center to the beginning of the exit. It's from the beginning of the exit to the straight is where things go to hell with this car. Which is why you don't want to turn in too early and also don't want to turn in too late. Because it affects this whole thing. So let me play this at, and we'll just go with a times two. Or slow-mo. You see how much I fight the car here? You're trying to get to the throttle as soon as possible, but it's just hard to do. So now we're looking at turn three, which basically begins right here. I'm looking at the end of this black Xfinity logo. Right as I'm passing it, I'm going to get on the brakes. But you notice how I don't just jerk it in to the corner. I kind of slowly turn into the corner. That's just to get down to the yellow line at the exact point. Because if you do it too soon, you kind of got to change your trajectory a little bit. So let's slow-mo it on the, on the brakes. Turn in slower than I normally would, which I think I screwed that up. But same thing as for one trail brake, but kind of in reverse. 
You want to get to the yellow as soon as possible. Wrap it around the yellow. And for the same reasons, even though turn four is more forgiving, you want to be careful on the throttle. Track all the way out, but not too soon. Because if you do, you'll get in the gray and the car doesn't like it. You can already see it out of line. And you just got to fight it. There you go.